For those of you who aren't familiar with Aramante, we are a global leader in information management services. We create the framework necessary to bridge the gaps between paper, digital, media, and physical data and extract value across its life cycle, helping you to build your organizational resilience. I'm joined today by my colleague, Michael Jackson. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mika. So uh, I'm Mike Jackson. I'm the director of digital solution sales for our global industry segment at Iron Mountain. Um, I go by MJ, so there's not any Michael Jackson, King of Pop jokes. Um, I don't have a glove, I don't moonwalk, and I don't have a chimp. So, <laughs> uh, so my tenure in document and content management goes back about 20 years, back in the time when we said, like, wouldn't it be cool if, you know, fill in that blank with this material? Well, uh, now many of those wishes are technical realities. So flash forward to today, after 20 years, my team is responsible for developing and selling the combination of people, processes, and technology within Iron Mountain's vast solutions catalog really to help solve uh, the digital uh, modernization challenges of our largest of our 240,000 plus customers. Thank you, Mike. Uh, thank you for being with us today. It's such a pleasure. So I'll, I'll get us kicked off with some of the content here. So for some digital transformation, can also be synonymous with burnout. Uh, personally, I kind of roll my eyes nearly anytime someone uses the term transformation. So rhetorical question, what about you? Um, you know, for, for more than a decade, pundits, researchers, analysts, vendors, speakers, and all manner of experts have been extolling the virtues of digital transformation. Uh, which for the purposes on this presentation, we'll, we'll abbreviate as DX, um, which is, you know, what would a conversation be without some kind of a, a two or three letter acronym, right? So, but as business leaders, understanding the opportunities and the potential risks of failing to keep up with the competition uh, have, have eagerly embarked on uh, digital transformation initiatives and organizations have pursued at least one large-scale digital transformation in the past couple of years, um, as lumpy as they may be, right? So in, if you search for digital transformation on Google, you'll get something back around 616 billion results, billion, right? So... Uh, with about 90% of organizations having already embarked on some digital transformation DX uh, project, right? But nearly 90% of those organizations are unable to sustain the success that they've achieved with their DX efforts in a long-term fashion. So uh, DX projects are taking twice as long, might cost twice as much as organizations had originally anticipated. So if your organization is starting to suffer some digital transformation fatigue, uh, you might be tempted to give up on the efforts, but that would mean foregoing some significant financial benefits that organizations who stay the course can achieve. So a better option is to reinvigorate your digital transformation initiative. So these six tips that we're about to get into should be able to help with that. Uh, going as far back as the 1950s, computer scientists were hypothesizing about digital technology and how that might transform daily life. Um, that seems al almost uh, an insurmountable a time ago, you know, the, the 1950s. But the phrase digital transformation didn't really come into popular use until 2011. And in that year, Cap, Jim, and I, and the MIT Center for Digital Business published a study titled Digital Transformation, A Roadmap for Billion Dollar Organizations. Now, its findings really set off a modern surge and in, in interest in the topic. At that time, the study uh, authors 
found that large enterprises were just beginning transformation journeys and often spurred by disgruntled employees that wanted to, to be able to use the same technologies that they were using at home, right? I, I used to hear the concept, I want an Amazon-like experience, right? I want a Google-like experience. I still hear those today in, in customer meetings. So for example, one participant told researchers, come on, I, I know this company is more than 100 years old, but our IT capabilities don't have to match the age of the company. And another respondent said, Officially, iPads are prohibited by our policy, yet 50% of our employees are using them at work. So executives got the message. Over the next nine years, the executives embarked on digital transformation initiatives at a measured, sustainable pace. But that all changed when COVID-19 struck. Everything changed when COVID-19 struck, it seemed like. So the pandemic spurred companies to dramatically increase their speed of transformation. And those efforts have reshaped organizations. So now, uh, eager to sustain the results that they have seen, organizations are embracing new aspects of technology, such as artificial intelligence and machine learning. And unfortunately, sustaining those efforts has proven incredibly difficult, for a lot of reasons. Uh, the majority who haven't been able to sustain their digital transformation efforts are missing out on some of those financial rewards that I, I mentioned. So I'll, I'll share an example with you. This is a, this is a real world example. Um, we have a customer that had to handle their mailroom operations completely differently due to COVID-19. So in, in the remote work associated with it. And that also resulted in, in real estate compression getting rid of facilities, buildings, additional offices, and so on. So with a total benefit, both hard costs and the attributable time efficiencies, this customer experienced a net financial benefit of $20 million in year one. That was in year one. Not everybody's going to see the same kind of impact, but the impacts financially are large the impacts to risk and governance are very uh, valuable as well. Right? So um, you can, you'll be able to see this and not only just improvements in workflow and operations, but, you know, gigantic savings and budgetary costs associated with tier one downtown real estate. So, uh, what's digital transformation for your organization? Well, as, as you continue your digital transformation journey, it's a good idea to pause once in a while and make sure that everyone in the organization defines digital transformation in the same way or, or looks at success of digital transformation in the same way. So as your team discusses what digital, transform mean, di digital transformation means for your company, you might want to consider incorporating elements for uh, some of these other popular definitions, right? Uh, we don't have to invent everything. Sometimes we can just mimic what good looks like, right? So I'll, there's, a, there's a lot of words on the slide. So I'll rattle off three of my favorite quotes uh, on this slide. Digital transformation is the process by which companies embed technologies across their businesses to drive fundamental change, according to Accenture. Digital transformation is when an organization takes advantage of new technologies to redesign and redefine relationships with their customers, their employees, and partners. Digital transformation for business covers everything from modernizing applications and creating new business models to building new products and services for customers. That's a big statement from Google and, and one that we probably expect from Google, right? So digital transformation can refer to anything from IT modernization, for example, cloud computing, to digital optimization, to the invention of new digital business models, according to Gardner. So, and we have seen that digitization has born, is, is born uh, 
new industry players and new business models that never existed before. So let's look at tips for reinvigorating your digital transformation. So if your organization is like the nearly 90% of those other organizations that are finding it difficult to sustain your digital transformation initiatives, it's not too late, obviously. You can reinvigorate your efforts and still achieve many, if not all of the goals that you had in mind when you first began the journey. Uh, but it's going to require some long-term commitment to manage the process of, of DX. So uh, one of my friends, Cliff Madru, the vice president of global solutions for Iron Mountain, says, now more than ever, organizations need to embrace disruption as a springboard for competitive advantage and adopt new ways of working that invigorate organizational performance. But making the transition isn't just about the technology involved. Success requires the ability to effectively manage the transition itself. So as many things very eloquently stated by Cliff. So uh, you know, how can you make the long-term commitment and keep, keep DX projects going? Well, here are the six, six tips. I'll read these off and then we'll dig into them here uh, in more detail. So, First off, define or re redefine your vision of what digital looks like to you. Number two, break your project into smaller, more manageable pieces. Three, apply the principles of continuous improvement. For anybody with the Six Sigma background on the, on the call, you'll know what that means. Uh, number four, embed digital transfer. I'm going to. I'm going to emphasize this word, embed digital transformation in your organization. Five, recruit or deploy new talent or redeploy new talent into this area. And number six, bring in a partner. I'm going to turn it over to, to Mika to dig into some of the specifics. Thank you, Mike. So, Let's start with number one, redefining your vision. From the very beginning, the ex proponents have encouraged business leaders to start the transformation process with a clear picture of where they want to go. Um, that early cap Gemini and MIT paper that Mike mentioned says, quote, a compelling transformative vision with related engagement, governance, and KPIs will allow people throughout the enterprise to identify new what's to meet or extend the vision. Cool. However, along the way, people often lose sight of their original vision. So we need to be reminded. And this is such a common problem that consultants often begin by asking clients, what are your digital transformation goals? What is your organization transforming into? Can you do that in less than two minutes or without using any buzzwords or jargon? Can you describe it in a way that anyone can understand it and be motivated by? Would other companies say the same thing? So if you have already begun a DX projects that later has begun to languish, you might feel tempted to maybe choose a less ambitious goal for your project a second time around. But to reinvigorate your digital transformation efforts, it's important to have an aggressive, inspirational, broad vision that you clearly communicate to the rest of the organization. Yeah. And so I'll paraphrase this, but uh, this is a recent one that was described by a partner, this uh, a, a pain point. Improve customer experience by pulling together omni-channel information sources. So vision themes like that are usually most effective when they center on growth initiatives or focused on customer engagement, like faster delivery, quicker resolution, lead to cash cycles, things like that. 
So number two, break your project into smaller pieces. And this might sound logical, but very often it gets forgotten. Why your vision should be broad, it should not be monolithic. And what I mean by that is that in order to accomplish a long-term goal successfully, you need to bring it into more manageable tasks that you can accomplish in a month or a quarter. And this is where strong management, strong project management comes in. Project managers excel at taking large goals, like your vision for digital transformation, and create and execute a plan for you to see those goals to fruition. They know how to create gun charts, set up schedules, assign people, resources, and monitor progress towards milestones. But the Project Management Institute also notes that the, to successfully manage digital transformation, project managers need more than just technical proficiency. They also need the right soft skills and specifically the ability to imagine a new way of doing business the ability to create a culture change and the ability to work cross-functionally. So project managers with these skills can really help make accomplishing your ambitions, the X vision more manageable by keeping the projects on track from day to day. Yeah, and there are a couple of things I, I, I wanted to, I guess, touch upon first that the idea about not being monolithic. So don't be too rigid about your outcomes or too, too large or too rigid about that. That can really stymie inherent innovation that you might experience during the natural pro, uh, process of, of rollouts and, and formation. Second, you can experience huge positive change by making incremental smaller kind of bite-sized pieces elephant steaks as it were as long as the change management doesn't lead to change fatigue or change exhaustion um, and so that's why it's important that stakeholders views are represented and addressed in project plans it's honestly easier than it sounds um, fear of change is usually bigger than the change itself uh, you know insert fdr quote here or something like that um, I personally lived through that migration from paper medical records to EMR and, uh, you know, as an example, and I saw where that, that, that fear or distrust of going from a paper medical record to an electronic medical record, it was, it was a massive force to deal with. Right. But then when it happened, people said, oh, well, gosh, this is so much better. Why, why didn't we do this earlier? Why did we do that faster? That wasn't as bad as we thought, right? So, um, and, and that's a, a, a continental success, you know, for caregivers and, and patients and insurers in that EMR. So uh, it was a big change, granted, but, um, you know, it, it's real life. We live, we live through that one. Yeah, and... Thank you, Mike, for this comment, because we all want to experience that dramatic, dramatic change. And that leads to the third tip of today. Apply the, continue, the, the principles of continuous improvement. For most organizations, in fact, digital transformation isn't a one-time only thing. It's an ongoing process. Digital transformation, is a continuous process that evolves and improves as new technologies emerge, like you mentioned earlier. Organizations need to find a way to incorporate that emerging technology into their businesses. Or one of the possible risks is to get be left behind by the competition. Fortunately, organizations can borrow an idea from the realm of quality engineering to help with this task. Continuous improvement is a familiar concept to many people who work in product development and manufacturing, in fact. 
It involves making incremental changes over time while constantly monitoring to make sure that each change results in the desired outcome. Engineers use a host of different frameworks and methodologies to implement continuous improvement. You might be familiar with plan, do, check, act, approach, Kaizen, Lean, Agile, Kanban, Six Sigma, and others. Your organization almost certainly already has some processes in place to support at least one of these approaches. So by applying whatever approach you already use in your organization also to your digital transformation project, you can help ensure the success of your DX project. Your team is already familiar with the principles of your chosen approach. So you'll be building on existing knowledge, which is always easier than starting from scratch. And continuous improvement brings with it the idea that you don't ever stop. It helps prevent your digital transformation initiative from stalling over time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, this is a, an old adage don't let good be the victim of perfect. Uh, it's important to think through the problems and the desired outcome. However, avoid the pitfalls of over-engineering your first iterati iterations of your implementation or digital workflows. So overly complex solutions come with multiple points of failure. So simplicity is elegance uh, with the start of an initiatives and adjustment adjustments and change controls are very natural. And approaching the X from a continuous improvement perspective helps your team get used to the idea that digital transformation is simply a part of the way you do business. So in the same way you continuously, relentlessly improve your products and services over time, you will also be continuously improving the way your business uses technology, which is at the heart of digital transformation. And number four, embed digital transformation in your organization. If you want digital transformation projects to fail, make it a side project. This comes from a quote uh, from Forrester where they see this mistake as making digital transformation a side hustle. Um, this, this particular report says the most common challenge mentioned by digital transformation practitioners was employee availability of time devoted to digital transformation execution around their other job responsibilities. And I'm sure this is familiar to many of you attending today. Employees are tasked with transformational projects on top of their day job, usually. When unforeseen events or fire drills happen in their daily business, the transformation grinds to a halt. So if you, on the other hand, want your digital transformation project to succeed, you need to infuse your organization with the idea that digital transformation isn't a nice to have, it's really at the core of what you'll do as a, as a business. So successful organizations understand that a digital transformation needs cross-department commitment. It is not just an IT deliverables, but an objective for the entire enterprise. Leaders articulate their vision and make it a company-wide priority by assigning clear responsibilities across key roles and sanctioning intra-organizational finger pointing. Capgemini, the, the study that we referenced earlier, also found that this approach requires strong leadership. Hence, to reinvigorate your digital transformation initiative, your executives need to let everyone know that your company is in the digital transformation business, and they need to assign people digital transformation tasks as a core component of their jobs, not just a side hustle. 
digital transformation needs to be embedded at the very heart of your organization. Yeah, I'll, I'll chime in, you know, if you from the position of the vendor, right, uh, the, the dark side, if you will. So from, from my vendor's perspective, my North American team of solution specialists uh, knows this, that for a successful customer engagement, like a deal, right, uh, we need to ensure three wins exist for our customers or on behalf of our customers in partner with, partnership with them. It's reflective of Forrester and Capgemini's points. So it, I call this the trinity of wins. So you would you can think about this in, in, in your own uh, frame. But when we look at a solution or we look at a, a transformation initiative, we look for these three things. The technical win. Yes, the solution design that's been presented works and leads to a better outcome or or a, a better you know business win whatever that might be the financial win yes this to be future state um, is worth the investment and has a positive return on investment or positive impact on risk or customer you know net promoter scores NPVs and that kind of thing, th those sorts of things. And then the political win. And, uh, you know, meaning, yes, this change will be embraced by the cross functional team and garners the support necessary to make a philosophical decision to change and implement that change. So when we do these, uh, you know, in the vein of it not being a side hustle, uh, there is a, a very defined and an important intellectual process and engagement that needs to occur in to, to, you know, uh, pull off a complex digital thing. So again, befitting the, it can't be a side hustle. It's gotta be a real commitment. So sorry for the interruption. Mika. No, no. Thank you for, for the uh, addition. So number five, recruit new talent. When a professional sports team begins to flounder, they often bring in new players, new blood, who can infuse some excitement and enthusiasm in the team. And the same principle can work when you are trying to reinvigorate a digital transformation team. In fact, some analysts say that a lack of talent is often one of the key reasons why DX projects stall out. And while new tech talent is definitely part of the solution to this problem, organizations also need to consider the capabilities of their management team. So a combination of new leaders and new technologists who have experience with and passion for new technologies can jumpstart a digital transformation initiative that has become to lose steam. And finally, number six, bring in a partner. Of course, full-time hires aren't the only way to add fresh people to the team. You can also choose to partner with a consultant or a vendor who has extensive experience with digital transformation projects. And while no two digital transformation efforts are exactly alike, the advantage of the experienced vendor is that they have seen issues like yours before. They know what is likely to work and what doesn't, and they can help you avoid common pitfalls they have seen in the past and implement best practices. For example, our mountain frequently has helped thousands of organizations implement digital transformation projects that involve workflow automation, digitizing paper documents. We talked about 50% of what digital transformation means is becoming paperless, improving security, managing documents and records. And in just one instance, it helped a global 500 bank transform its, wor its workflows to accommodate a new hybrid work style. 
As a result of the engagement, the bank reduced its real estate space by 45% overall and eliminated 95% of the space that had been previously devoted to a physical archive where they were storing paper documents. It digitized more than 375,000 pieces of paper and helped the firm implement new all digital workflows. It enabled the bank to, trans to take the next step to their digital transformation journey, putting it in the position to take advantage of future opportunities to use technology to grow the business and monetize on that. So yeah. really exciting. Sure. And, you know, if you think about 375,000 pieces of paper, that's not a lot, right? But, but that digitizing that amount of paper was a critical foundation for the success of, of all that future. That, that was the bedrock piece for them. So again, it doesn't need to be a huge scenario. It doesn't need to be monolithic as we stated it. It can be very manageable and almost microcosmic sometimes when compared to what I've, what I see in, in, in a lot of the global industry space. Right. So also I, I, I do want to, pick up on on this when we talk about talent it this isn't meant to indicate that current talent is not sufficient what it does mean is that organizations often need a differing perspective on what good looks like so from a successful transition from the status quo so um where and how have we seen this done before in the wild uh, and what lessons can we apply that to to our state of being or our future state of being? So, and indeed, partners certainly bring perspective. Again, from my vantage, I've seen customer teams that have never gone through a transition. Uh, so, the I'll give you an example about buying a house, right? The average American family unit will buy three homes in their lifetime. So, unless you're a realtor it's unlikely that anyone is a perfect expert at buying a home and won't make some kind of mistake along the way. And just like a solid realtor, uh, partners like Iron Mountain see the, see the changes, see the issues, uh, see current state, future state trends, um, and we can see how to create the solutions all day, every day for many customers. So your partner should assist you and join with you to create a, a what good looks like kind of scenario. Now, some partners charge for that is an engagement, but if you do it right, many will help you build out and should be helping you build out a future state around projects and initiatives using their expertise and tool sets. Which brings us to the five steps to digital transformation. Sure, sure. I'll take this one. Um, Iron Mountain takes a very pragmatic approach to digital transformation. It helps other companies use technology to automate their administrative processes, enhance the end user experience, uh, and, and obtain deep analytic insights. So along the way, uh, companies optimize their workflows, eliminate data silos, improve security, reduce cost. Right? That's that's where it's it's kind of at the high level. So uh, and and having helped thousands of customers take the next step on their digital information journey, Iron Mountain has developed a five step process that streamlines digital transformation. So. I'll, I'll hit each one of these real quick, but identify, determine what should be digitized, stored, or defensively destroyed. Okay. For me, that's making sure the right meaningful information is in the right form and available to the right people so work can actually get done. Okay. So what is that stuff? Digitize. Go paper free, or as I like to say, go paper light. Uh, mm -hmm. There's always going to be some paper that exists. We still make, you know, there's still more pages printed every year than the year before. Is is 
like inconsistent as that sounds with with the worldview but you know getting information i i joke getting it from papyrus to ones and zeros is important to get that information to do work okay store you know access digitized information in a future ready repository right so when i say future ready it's not a C drive. It's not a, a, a generic storage uh, appliance. You know, you've got to be able to have a, a user interface that allows you to not only search, but also to find the relevant information. Okay. Automate. Uh, next. So, uh, Enable collaboration and workflow automation for document-centric processes. We all hear RPA, uh, process automation, AI, ML is, is consistently and, and ubiquitously being used to automate processes based on business decision rules and process decision rules. That streamlines everything. That makes the work easier to be done at, at the knowledge worker uh, position. Right? And then unlock, view and interpret key data to identify patterns and trends. That one's very unique. That's a, that, that takes a lot of work. That, that really takes a good understanding of what information is really available to the organization. Um, and then being able to identify really what kind of what kind of hypotheses are we looking to get out of this information? That's actually, to me, that's one of the most brilliant and fascinating segments of the digital transformation journey. So for more information, I, I recommend you listen to uh, the podcast series on the five steps of digital transformation. Um, it, it's available. I'm, I'm not going to rattle off the website, but it'll show up in a Q, uh, QR code on the next slide. I I'd really encourage you to listen to that. There are more resources that we can share with you. Um, also, a white paper will be made available to you, will be sent shortly. And uh, we remember that your Aromantana account team is here to help craft a vision and plan accordingly. You don't have to do it alone. That's the beauty of partnering with someone that has been doing this for a long time. So to wrap up today, we would like you to know that our teams are determined to collaborate with you, almost like a virtual member of your team. Let us help you securely access and store your information, find what you need when you need it the most, automate your workflows for improved collaboration and unlock insight with our secure content services platform so that you can achieve your digital transformation goals faster. So if there are no questions coming in, thank you for your time. And please reach out to your local Iron Mountain representative for more information. Bye now. Thank you. Thank you.